Hey nerds, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today we are reacting to Season 6, Episode 21, the finale eve, if you will. I'll wed you in a golden summertime. So we're going to get Joe and Rick's wedding. Joe pregnant with twins. Mama Lily's locked in the Chamber of Secrets. Elena's a fucking human. There's a lot of things going on, so let's just get right into it. If you guys are new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day there is a reaction, there's links in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry does his best work behind the scenes. That's really it. Bonnie, you okay? You're probably having some nightmares about Kai or something. You know, didn't they think a prison world would have been... There's been so many people that the more I think about that's deserving of a prison world. Huh. Sorry. Bonnie, you having one another one of them little dream things you be having? Hello again, Bonnie. Lily. I left Stefan locked in the cellar. That I'm here for your help. I'm not. This one was incendiary. <laughs> Those are lovely words, Bonnie. What? Here's another one. Die. Hi, <laughs> Glad. That was kind of funny. Wow. You are not good at running. Modus! No magic. Oh, that's my fault. I was spooning you earlier. I think I might have sleep siphoned you. I hope you keep trying. It's it's adorable. Sleep siphoned. Sorry, I was spooning you earlier. A creep, basically. You're creepy. Like you're having a little seizure. How are you? Did you think you could keep screwing people over? When he goes away. So you just gonna wake up and not tell nobody about that fucky ass dream you just had? All right, bet. Still eight hours until the ceremony. Non-alcoholic mimosa? One, a uh, non-alcoholic mimosa. Just orange juice. juice. Yeah, I was about to say, drink. it's just orange Something juice. Something you drink, you should drink. I will drink, eventually. But I have human tolerance now, which is cheaper, but a lot less fun. Cheers. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Well, how sick is she? Can she still work? It depends on how much vomit you want to have at the wedding. I think a small amount of vomit is formidable. Maybe this is a good thing. Because no matter how good Danielle was, I'm pretty sure I'm better. Sweet Caroline. If there is a, any coordinator out here that could be available, it's Caroline. It's beautiful. I, it's, it's beautiful. Hey, it's I good to have you, you back. Look at you. Your face is me too. nice again. Thank you for getting me back. It's good. You don't like you just threw up for 20 hours straight? Nice. Oh, they finally got their little hug. Body. <laughs> okay, we got suits. Hell yeah, suit time. Oh, well, all right, you're a waste of space. Vows are so, important. What do we do now? Stefan's complicated. I just figured I'd work my way up to that one. Well, you're in the clear. He's got his hands full with Damon today. And what's wrong with Damon? Not much. He just said he would take the cure with me. <laughs> Damon Salvatore? Human? That's a lot of question marks. I, I'm Rod Burgundy. I can't even picture it. Yeah. Something tells me. Neither can he. Sure, I'll be your best man, right? But first, hang out with the worst man. <laughs> my brother can kidnap me on the day of your wedding. Hey, don't well, you hate weddings anyway? First of all, can we just talk about the fact that Damon being the best man is just... I love it. I hate little stuff in mind games even more. <laughs> you don't think I've thought this through? Well, I think you've thought about a life with Elena. Right. I don't think you've thought about neighbors or mortgage. Or kids, I don't know. Hey, bro, you, your thing. you literally kicked that ball. Don't say hey with a question mark. Relax, relax. <laughs> I'm not here to cause mischief. Said everyone who ever causes mischief. I told Lily. She at the Salvatore house? Is this like some Oedipus thing? Or, you know what? Doesn't matter. Excuse me. Little witch. If you think I'm gonna let you, a ruiner, in here to see another ruiner on the day of Joe's wedding, you got another thing coming. She's a ruiner. And hungry. And she can't. Yeah, just give her the damn iPod Nano with the headphones. Either that or there's something in it. Yeah, you're, you're 
cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You ain't getting no damn iPod at this point. You done lost your iPod privileges. Congratulations, crazy lady. She was rambling on about her family and the Damn, she grabbed the shit out of me. Like an animal. You don't cook, Elena doesn't cook. Who has time anyway with working kids, right? Here's some fucking corn and a Salisbury steak. Mm, Salisbury steak. Dig in, Damon. <laughs> You're gonna need all that energy. <laughs> it was a hundred percent of Salisbury steak. I'm so happy right now. Core to Salisbury steak for the win, baby. Oh, GG. That's so great. It's just the rest of your life. Paperwork. That's so That's great. Move. Let me ask you something. When was the last time you filled out paperwork of any kind? Taxes, health insurance, driver's license. Every idiot in the country does it. You think I'm in trouble with this? You will the first time you encounter some moron that you can't kill or compel. Maybe. Then I'll just come home and pop a beer from my beautiful stainless steel refrigerator. Which you won't be able to afford unless you have a job. And if you're about to say you can borrow money from me, you can't. <laughs> it's not brotherly of you. Actually, it is. See, I won't know where you live. You'll have the cure running through your veins. And if I know where you are, then someone can use me to track you down, take the cure from you, and turn you into a 172-year-old corpse. Yes. What's the matter? Haven't thought that far ahead? Your life, Damon. This will be your hell. When he gets all buggy-eyed like that, it means he's thinking. Well, that is where you were wrong, my brother. This will not be my life. This will be my life. See, Elena was pretty explicit about what she wanted. Now, this isn't Tribeca. New York's a little too crowded for me. But it is above a bar that I own next to a medical school. It's in the Northwest somewhere. I mean, I'd tell you where it was, but you made it abundantly clear you didn't want to know. I mean, you can see on the paper where it is. You can easily Google search it, and then he would know, and then it's forever in his brain. Got upstairs. I mean, he seems like he's comfortable with doing it, but, like, I don't know. I'm on my third glass, so speak slowly. You're taking the cure. The only mistake you made was that last glass of champagne. I'm gonna go make some coffee before you spiral through the earth to China. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Joe? 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 Hey. Joe, question mark? Are you okay? Joe! Hey, Joe! Joe! Oh, no. Joe! Joe! <laughs> Can we just admit that this is the most dramatic fall I've ever seen in my life? Hold on. Wait. She turns. Bah! <laughs> She'll be all right. The doctor got the test results back. The babies are fine. You're fine. He thinks it was just an acute panic attack brought on by stress, pregnancy, and a severe lack of food. Yes. What are the chances of you being an amazing maid of honor and keeping this mortifying episode to yourself? I don't want to worry, Rick. Of course. You can't tell her that I told you. Okay, fine, but I want to see her. Not till the wedding. Elena? Rick, if there's anywhere that you should be superstitious, it's Mr. Oh, Rose. I love that Rick was already there, bro. The doctors think that she had a panic attack. As in she doesn't want to get married to me, panic attack? Great. Please selfish of you, brother. Even if you and Elena defy every single statistic and stay in love every hour of every day, you still can't control life or death. She's human. She could die at any moment. What is your life gonna look like without her? Yeah, bro, what if she goes first? How the fuck do you say that? Spanacopita? Spanacopita. Span. Ac. Spanaco. Spanacopita. I don't know. What the fuck is that even supposed to be? What you got in here? That's a lot of frozen food, actually. Yeah, getting yourself a little frozen dinner. That time again. Throw some in the microwave. So you have some sort of food in your belly. Been there. Just absolutely zombified watching the TV, basically. Just zombified watching TV because there's nothing else to do. Awful. You have to want to be human for yourself. You got to be human for yourself, and you already 
goofed by... Oh my gosh, she didn't want to take it. The wedding. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Lally takes some champagne. Yeah. Joe, is she... She's fine. Caroline, you look great, sure, by the sure. way. Good. Well, there's a back entrance she can use that avoids being seen. Okay, I'll tell her. I'm gonna go wait for Joe. Okay? I'm not used to scaring people away. People are uncomfortable around Salvatore's and Tuxos. It stirs... feelings. Uh-oh. Elena's human again. Uh oh Are we sensing another brother swap? <laughs> <laughs> By sensing another no, brother swap, that was rough. That sounds very ominous. Hey, he better be there. He's Rick's best, bestie, best man. You we were in control of her. Not Lily. See, Jeremy's supposed to have the crossbow, not Matt. Also, where the fuck is Jeremy? Second of all, third of all, whatever number I'm on, I don't care at this point. Uh, Stephen, did you just leave him there? How's he gonna get back? He's gonna sprint the whole way. Carol, it's exhausting. The wedding starts in an hour. All we have to do is knock her ass out and drag her to the boiler room. Thirty minutes tops. Enzo must have let her out. We have to warn everyone. <laughs> Matt? Oh. No, it's wrong. I can't. It's like someone's crushing my throat. Okay, just hang on. I'll... Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I got some witch spells on you. I've said it once and I've said it again. Bonnie can't catch a break. Hey, please. Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Should I be concerned about an imminent ripper binge? Actually, no. You shouldn't. I was a ripper because I lost my family. Oh, the bitch is back. Today, I'm getting them back. Oh, wait. Not yet, but... Exhausting. Okay, Joe. You're trying to organize a secret rendezvous. Don't worry, I'm not. I just need help with my vows. Listen, all right, I gotta tell y'all something. It's personal. If you're There's a word on the screen that she just said. I've told the story before, but I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. This word right here, I was playing a game called The Last of Us. I may have told the story multiple times, but who gives a shit? And the word was up on the screen I didn't know what it was. So here's how I read it. Rendivorous. I said out loud with my own voice the word rendivorous. I was like, rendivorous? What is that word right there? No. I caught myself like five seconds later. Rendezvous. Awful. Just awful. Just awful. You're trying to organize a secret rendezvous, rendezvous and worry, I'm, I'm through not. with you. I just need help with my vows. I'm gonna put my tim to hold in a blender. Divorce. <laughs> so how are yours coming? Stop fishing for spoilers. You know, this place is crawling with Gemini. I, um, <clears throat> I don't expect you to say yes, but if I didn't at least ask to walk you down the aisle, I couldn't live with myself. It's very sweet. So in the fact you're a little wild, but still. You're avoiding me. Clearly. What? No, I'm not avoiding you. I'm trying to organize this whole circus here. I mean, did you see where they put the bar? Caroline. Do you hate me? No. No, of course I don't hate you. No, can y'all kiss again real quick? Just one time. Doesn't mean that I don't hate the way you handle things. No, well, that makes two of us. I made a list. Did you check it twice? Of um, all the things that I've done since I fell for you. And you didn't. It was and it affected me bad so deeply that timing. It was the worst possible thing a vampire can do. It was just, I turned off my humanity. It was just bad timing. And when I thought I couldn't do anything else, I got you to turn off yours. It's being vulnerable. It is being vulnerable. Music's it's, picking up. Holding hands again. 
Nice. Control. Gotta give up a little bit of it. Listen, it was all bad timing. He didn't want to tell you feelings. He didn't really know at that exact moment. But also, it was your mother's wake. Jesus. It's horrible timing. That's fair. Hey, listen, like she said, like she said when she was in the bathroom with Elena, like, she's got to get her life together first. She's got to get things in check. So, everybody be patient. Breathe. We're good to go. Simple as that. Forget the, the leftovers. I know you told me three times. Forty years and every time. Did you remember the leftovers? I like I'm getting senile or something. Oh. <laughs> Smooth. A little bus lap. A little smooch. Old people are cute. Except when they're not. But still. They're adorable. I'm taking it. I've been a vampire for a long time, Elena. It's been a blast. Give it up in a second. Oh, uh, fuck. The smallest chance at the perfect life with you is infinitely better than an immortal one without you. I mean, that's a hell of a quote, I guess, but come on, dog. It's kind of funny. Uh, hey, look, I don't want to tell you how to run your wedding, but... We're not waiting anymore. Tell them to cue the music. Fair enough. It's a little funny. What the fuck are y'all doing? Looks like I'm joining the human club. It's a big night for both of us. I'm proud of you. You too, buddy. I've been the best man. I had to give a speech once. It was, it was awkward. YouTube's so petty, I'm probably have to cut most of this shit right here. I wish this was Jenna. Like, no, nothing against Joe, but... On this magical evening. Oh, Liv, you're just cool with your dad all of a sudden, too, as he tried to fucking murder you as well? To the wedding of Alaric Saltzman and Josette Laughlin. Thank you. Josette and Alaric have prepared their own vows. Listen, I don't know about the whole vow thing. Aw, shit! You've shown me that happiness is actually something that I can have in my life. man it's like remember when we were up in that so, barn a second ago I promise to be with you and love you and to dodge fate with you it's a beautiful line all things considered of our lives. dodge fate damn damn twins single tear Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and here goes. Lark Saltzman. You are. Joe. What is it? Oh my god. Joe. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> no! No! Oh, oh shit! I was gonna wait till the death do us part, bit. But it seemed a little on the nose. Bitch! Am I right? <laughs> Miss me? No? No, nah, not really. Oh, well. You just gonna ruin a whole wedding like that. Meanwhile, Elena's old human dumbass is just laying there in the middle of the floor. Christ, bro. This man done stabbed. Done stabbed the belly with the babies in it. Somebody, somebody watched Game of Thrones before they wrote this episode. Um, as Elena and Bonnie hustle to help Joe prepare for her wedding, Stefan offers Damon relationship advice. Matt agrees to protect Bonnie from Lily. So listen, they done got the blood. Kai done showed up. They done traveled back. 
the heretics are here. Kai's dumbass is here. Um, what else we got going on? Ruining the wedding. It's like a WWE event, bro. The weddings always get ruined. What else on top of this? Um, shit, bro. I got nothing. I got, I got, I got nothing. Um, Damon sees his whole fucking family life of being a human. And he decides, yeah, I want that. Instead of being immortal. They could have been immortal together. Elena did not want to take that thing. They could have been immortal together. Lived your whole, like, literally eternity together. So what? You don't have kids. That's, are you kidding me? You don't have to worry about bills, taxes, none of that. But you want all that just to, okay. Okay. I get it. That's okay. I get it. Uh, Stefan and Caroline are kind of, you know, not yet, but eventually. Not yet, but eventually. It, it'll happen. And then, and then Joe... Joe and Rick's wedding just gets ruined. This man done stabbed her in the belly where the twins are the first sound effect. She didn't get a chance to do her do her thing. <sighs> Frustrating. So Lily gets out of the Chamber of Secrets. We still don't know how, really, unless it was um unless it was Kai. She gets the address of where her people are. So her and her peeps are there. They could be dead. He could have killed them. I don't know. Either they're heretics or Roman free. Uh, it looks like the goodness that was in him has been drained. So our good semi mixture. I'm sorry, I have a nose hair. Our semi mixture of Kai doesn't seem to be anymore. And uh, that's where we're at. Listen, I said it in the last episode. I can't get this nose hair ah, of all things going on. This is what I'm worried about. I feel like I'd be cutting it so close. I don't know if I can wait to watch the finale. I think I have to go ahead and watch it. I think I think that's what I have to do. So I'm going to go ahead and head out so I can try to squeeze that in. As always, guys, links to everything in the description box down below. Playlist up on screen. Snap her in the belly. Stay cute. Stay hydrated. I'll catch you on the next one.